Anything else in the village we haven't looked at yet? Not really. I suppose we could try to get this question mark here. I feel like it's always better to kind of waste the time away naturally as opposed to meditate if we can. I'm feeling kind of patient today, so I'm okay with doing that. It's always a little bit more I'm immersive. On an empty stomach. Oof, dreadful. Wine is better than stew, for stew you have to chew. Huh. And you guys have a boat directly to the prison, too. Is that a cow? What was that? Hello? One little cow here. Sitting by yourself. How strange. Don't worry, little cow. I'm not gonna slaughter you. Today. I don't usually kill animals walking around. Even hunting deer is something that I've only done like once or twice. Hidden treasure with people guarding it. And by people, I mean drowners! Let's try to do our sweep here. Hey, so am I allowed to parry drowners? I don't think I've actually ever tried. <laughs> Do you want to come let me experiment on you? Well, how long are you going to make me wait? Yeah, I don't think I can properly parry them. Or maybe I'm just not doing it right. Humans are more predictable, I guess, in that regard. What did I just pick up? Monster bone. Ooh. Letter to Pascal Pellissier. My darling Pascal, I trust this missive finds you in good health. As you know, my affections for you are powerful beyond all measure, and I yearn for you to become my husband with all my being. Soon, we shall stand together at the marital altar, but I hope you understand, this must be our ceremony to make the Duquesa herself green with envy. Do not think there's an admonishment in any way, my dear, but we both know your modest soldier's wage will not allow us to put on the extravagant ball, which we both deserve. But do not be sad. I have found a solution to our little problem. You surely know about the shipwreck on the bottom of the San Retor, but I doubt you know the full history of how it came to be there. Back in the time of Duke Raymond, one of the wealthiest men in the duchy, Gail Sask, decided to hold a ball in the middle of the river. And what a ball it was! Beautifully coiffed grand dames, Gr grand dame, elegant gentlemen in white shirts and striking doublets. Gail apparently took a crate of jewelry aboard and changed rings multiple times to impress all with his wealth. The event was in full swing when suddenly a violent storm rolled in. The wind snapped the masts and capsized the vessel. All the wealthy guests, draped in gold and jewels, sank to the bottom in a flash. This tragic story might yet have a happy ending, however, for I have obtained. The key to Gail Sask's chest. I imagine you know... You now see why our future prosperity is within easy reach. After all, the drowned dead do not need diamonds, am I not right? Loving you more than life itself, Bella de Gunas. She's a gold digger. Oh, this poor guy. The Black Widow. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. A widow? Now that she, now that her boyfriend or fiance or whatever is gone. But also because a Black Widow kills. That's gotta be the ship there, right? Oh, then does that mean that I have to worry about drowners? Because that guy died from drowners. That might not be a good sign. She couldn't even be like, Hey, can you work harder at your job so that you get a promotion and we all... We get a nice, rich wedding or whatever. She's like, no. Please go underwater and steal from dead people. <laughs> it's a bit of a tall order for anybody other than a witcher. Or a drowner.
And what's here? 190 Orans. There is some very nice jewelry here, though. Oh! I need some breath. All the birds flew away. Oh. And what do you know it? The sun is setting. By the time we get back to shore... It'll probably be around dusk. Hmm. Might be a little bit too much to go this far, though. <sighs> Two hours? Dusk? Yeah, let's go for one more question mark here. How about? I think we'll be okay. Mm, it'll be funny if we get past the time and then we gotta wait all over again. <laughs> but I think we'll be okay. Unless we run into one of those knight's errands or abandoned sites that makes the time go by for whatever reason. I'm not sure why they change the time. They don't really need to. Oh my god. Why is there a bilge hag just walking around there? Should I look at that? Water hag. Why are you just here? Ugly bastard. Nice try. I can't see you! Kind of approximating my movements here, based on what I think you'll do. Oh. Where are the knights errand? There's a freaking water hag walking around in your beautiful place. Filament stream. Damn it. What? What do you mean, damn it? Oh. Too late. Argus. There's a whole bunch of them in the distance, right? But they're not coming over here. You can come attack me. Not bad. I don't know why they're being so polite. Not really coming to get me. Oh! The art didn't quite work. Ooh. I don't have good memories of these bar guests. Why are bar guests surrounding a man who took his own life? They appear around places where there's sin, just like Arcus spores. And it's pretty ironic that Tucson has all these kinds of creatures, since it's supposed to be all a fairy tale land and all. Farewell letter. Is this guy a Tucson guard? Now I know. Life is perfect. Life is excellent. Life is full of magic, beauty, possibility, and drama, and surprises. Numerous surprises. You, father, are also in for a surprise. You did not wish for your son to become an actor. You chose another home for him, the army. So your son has a surprise for you. His feet will never touch the ground again. He will never again taste life's beauty. And you, father, soon you must reach up to your son's hanging corpse and take this sack full of coins for which you sold his life to butchers. Neil Poiré? Hmm. I wish we could... cut him down or something. I don't think we should be taking the note here. His father should be the one finding this. But judging by what we know of him, maybe he won't even care. Marcessa and Forest. This is something we've read about in one of the notes earlier. Okay. Ooh, we're actually really close here. I wonder if it's okay for me to do this before getting back to the cellar. Excuse me, sorry! Whoa! Four! No time, guys! I'm not here to fight you. Please leave me be. 
filament stream. Something in here. Cave entrance. Let's see if this witcher left any tracks. Something in here killed a witcher. Now I'm hoping the other three diagrams are all here. That would really be perfect. I think we need cat's eye here. We can rely on the torch if it's not too crazy, but if it's in a cave like this, where we know we'll be seeing danger. Warning. Buildings around here have been collapsing because a monster's dug tunnels all over the place. Not sure yet what kind of beast it is. Don't come after me. And don't wipe my symbols off the walls because I need them to find my way out. Junot of Belhaven. Left his school symbol on the wall. Clever. Gotta keep a lookout for more. That's not him, right? Hopefully. Junot of Belhaven. Where's your symbols? Maybe we haven't seen it yet. Oh! What? Oh god! Either come out or stay inside! Nope. I learned already. Fool me twice. Shame on me. Well, still not doing too hot though. Oh damn. Do you think Ard would help here? I don't know. These guys are actually super annoying. Ow! Oh! Ard immobilizes them. Ard might be better than Irden here. God! Did the Ard help only because it has a freezing property? Or... The Golden Oriole? Or does Ard naturally help here? No, I don't think Ard works. It just so happened that the freezing thing applied on it. The one time. Oh, did I get it? God, I hate them. I hate them. Why are they so annoying? <laughs> My gosh, that was a long fought battle. And I think we need to meditate. Oh shoot, if I meditate, the time's gonna change. Okay, just a tad, 15 minutes. Because I really need to get back some supplies here. I'm not confident that we can fight all this without all the swallow potions we have. Unfortunately, that does mean that the little bonuses we had are all gone from sleeping back in Corvo Bianco. But we need it. Okay, so so far, I haven't seen any of the symbols they were talking about. Oh, there's one here. More symbols. Might want to look around some. Need me. Oops. Hmm. Might want to look around some. Mm-hmm. This cave is a little bit different from the usual caves we see. There's an actual running stream and all. A little bit unique. And... Yeah, there's something there. Does that mean I don't want to go this way? Well, people have died here. For sure. And... Something's trying to attack me already. Yes. Where are you? Oh god. It's a nice fighting place here. Hold on. 
If we fight giant centipedes, they are... They are... Insect... Insectoid? Giant centipedes. And they are weak against Irden. Might as well put it on. Because it sounds like it's something that can burrow underground. So it's probably some kind of giant centipede. Maybe one with a name? Are these guys kind of blind? Just like Shalmars or whatever? Ooh. Okay. Do you want to, like, come down? Actually, it's all the way over there. That's where the circle is. It's not even here. Am I somehow not in the right place right now? Do I have to go backwards to get it? This feels like the right place, though. Oh, God. Look at all these dead people. I feel like we kind of got to the treasure area before we fought the thing. Somehow. I mean, that's okay. But we gotta go back there. We gotta follow the symbols on the walls. Pretty much confirmed it's some kind of um, giant centipede, though. Oh, there's two ways here, no wonder. Damn. Don't be annoying! Maybe I should use Golden Oriole here, too. I think it spits up poison. Hey, don't do that. Come out, or stay under. They're scary. It's all you know how to do. Hey! Oh, dang it. Whew. The tighter area actually worked to my advantage here because there wasn't really a place where it could burrow through. Where... Oh! Oh my gosh! Must be the corpse of the Witcher from the School of the Bear. Oh. Junot of Belhaven's journal. Damn it. Should never have taken this contract. Still not sure what sort of monster I'm up against. Worried I won't be able to prepare properly. Stupid of me to bet the coin I set aside for armor. Elves just love squeezing folk for their last copper. And those skin flints at Tufo aren't any better. But no point feeling sorry for myself. And no point going back till I get a full set of gear. Well, as long as you're sinking, might as well walk on the bottom. I'll find a way, damn it. He should have never taken this risk. Must have really wanted the armor. I can probably make really good use of these diagrams. We got the complete set here. Hmm. Was there a way out if we go here? Or do we kind of have to go back the way we came from? Maybe here? Oh, hold on. What updated just now? Master... Master, master, master. Yes. So I can help this guy become a master now. A grandmaster. But I don't know if Ursine is the one I want specifically. Because there are so many other choices that we have. Manticore, feline... Not woven though, right? I don't think so. Okay, I think that's actually it. There's a lot of dead people here. A lot of people have been victimized by this giant centipede. But at the end of the day... No, there's nothing there. We gotta go back the way we came. And now's probably a good time for us to get back to the wine cellar too. Because it's 7pm. By the time we get there, maybe it'll be 8pm, 9pm. Still considered dusk. And we'll have been able to get there without meditating specifically just to get to that time, which is kind of nice. 
Like what an actual Witcher would really do, huh? Kill some time around the area and then go back. Owl Eye Grottoes. Probably a good idea to get Roach so we can make it back there in time. We'll leave the other stuff for another time. Gotta go back to this one now. Hello, buddy. Oh, you look really armored. Never really took a good look at you. But dang. Oh? Not today. I'll come back when I need the location. Tufo Vineyard. Now the cellar here. Yes. The guard brings peace to our domains. Flout its writ and rot in chains. Then why can't you get rid of the monster? Well, will you stay long? I hope not. No, it might be a good idea to use cat here too. Or maybe a torch would be good enough. It's quiet. Guess the monster actually is nocturnal. Gotta wait till dark. Oh, we came back a little bit too fast. Too early. Go to the cellars after dark, not after dusk. Recapitulation. This past half fortnight, I was forced to reassign three workmen to cleaning up the damage caused by the Earth's strange trembling. A fact which significantly slowed work on the vines. Sophie remains in confinement and will not be able to return to work for some time. And later, her effectiveness will be hindered by the presence of the child. Jean-Luc did not even report for work today, with no warning and no excuse. When he finally does show, I shall have to have a serious talk with him. Earth's strange trembling? Sophie remains in confinement. What the heck does that mean? Oh, because she's pregnant right now. Oh. Nobody's coming into work. Oh man, I'm so upset. I thought we had the timing all right, but we came here a little bit too early after all. The last tremors damaged several bottle stands and knocked over several wine barrels, whose subsequent rolling wreaked further havoc. Among the losses, 12 bottles with the blah 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 vintage, whole bunch of bottles of wines, in addition, two barrels of wine in the maturing process burst and spilt. The losses following this tremor proved greater than those after the previous one. These tremors shall be the ruin of me. The guy told me to not touch any of the wine here. Which of course I'm gonna do exactly that. Formula for purple armor dye. Oh, we can make it ourselves. We don't have to buy it. Okay. Is 8 p.m. considered dark? Watch where you step, fool. The guard brings peace to our domains. Flout its writ and rot in chains. If it's 8 p.m., all we gotta do is wait literally seconds. I'll wait and see. If it's not, then we'll do a quick meditation around here. Probably a good time for me to put on the Tawny Owl... ...potion, though. It is getting pretty dark. Oh wow, pretty beast though. Cure for the beast, a witcher. Look at that. Pretty. Okay. How about now? Oh wow, there are all kinds of drawings here on the wall too. Let's look around. Yes! I didn't have to meditate. Wait. You're already here? It's kind of scary because we were just here. Shattered dishes. Got knocked off the shelf somehow. Shaken off, maybe? What the? Oh, I'm really sorry about the wine barrels. But we're not going to be able to fix it. A tunnel? Mm. Insectoid oil? 
a bit more light could be useful. Let's do cat. Good thing we had a bit of practice with the giant centipedes just now. Oh, it's too bright. It's too bright. I hear you. Kick you more. What? Wait, that's not what I was expecting. Still insectoids though, right? Not good. Oh, golden oriole. Oh no no no! I keep thinking I'm getting poisoned by the Kikimors, but what they're actually doing to me is they're increasing my toxicity levels, right? So in that case, what I actually need to do is white honey. We're okay for now though. Our toxicity levels not too crazy. Oh, just one more. Still though, we should use a white honey because Look at my toxicity levels. Later on, if we gotta use a potion, we might not be able to. Here we go. Maybe there's a potion somewhere that lets me prevent toxicity gain? Well, I suppose we could always get the alchemy skill that lets us tolerate potions more by default. Oh. Goes on and on this tunnel. You're trapped in a little corner here. Without your friends. Did you dig this tunnel by yourself? Oh, then actually it might not be giant centipedes then, huh? But there's all this rumbling. Is it just the queen? Oh my gosh, look, after one battle, my toxicity levels are already sky high. White honey yet again. My gosh. Yup, got all that. Oh, two different ways. It's here. Should be able to break through. Oh my gosh. Damn it, it's getting away. It's you. It's you? Kiki more warrior? It's completely not moving at all. Was that really it? I don't think so. Oh god. Cracked Kiki more eggs. Something's been feeding on them. Oh no! They're not the final boss here. Oh! Where'd y'all come from? No! Quit it! I don't have that much white honey. Oh! Getting more interesting by the minute. What is going on here? No kicking more duck this. Tunnels are the work of something much bigger. Something with heavy, wide claws. That doesn't sound like a giant centipede either. I'm telling you, something is wrong with the soil here. Kicking more eggs. Should destroy them before the young hatch. Start prowling the vineyard. Damn it. Young could hatch any minute. Yeah, now we're gonna piss off the queen. We... might not have just only pissed off the queen here. Cause now we kinda took away the food source of whatever was feeding on this. Oh? Water coursing. Underground stream. Hmm. Monster I'm looking for lives underground, digs tunnels, feeds on kikimores, and is big. Very big. Won't learn anything else here. Time to go back to the surface. Ah, we don't know more because we gotta learn more from the wife. Interesting. Last one. Interesting. 
a monster contract that's a little bit different from the usual. And this cave is really unique too. Hmm, they put a lot of effort into this one contract here. Is there a point for us to go deeper this way? Oh, why did I do that? Let's go back! Geralt said to go back. Oh god, there's more. I killed all your babies already. Go away. Where's your queen anyway? Haven't seen her around. Ooh. Well, the guy's not gonna be happy. Because he's gonna be like, What? I gave you two minutes to do this task. Why haven't you finished doing everything already? I'm paying you for this, Witcher. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, this place is kind of... Hard to navigate. Oh, I heard somebody talking just now. Oh no, we're getting back here. No. This way, this way. No, what? Oh, here. Right, the light. Sacre bleu! What is the meaning of this? I'm paying you to slay a monster, not demolish my property! Property's falling apart on its own, what with all the tunnels under it. I'd fill those in soon if you don't want your building to collapse. Tunnels? Fiddle my farm, how did tunnels appear down there? Something dug him, a large creature. Also killed a few Kikimors down there and destroyed their eggs. Consider it a half favor. Won't cost you much. Kikimor eggs? Yes, of course, good work. Indeed, a reward is due. Thank you. <clears throat> Madame de Bourbeau, I presume? Here you know something about the missing farmhand. Jean-Luc? Yes. We went to examine this year's seedlings. Something had been nibbling at them. Then we heard these odd noises. John Luke went to reconnoitre and never returned. I think I found him. We found a bunch of dead bodies down there. Madame, could you describe Jean Luke? Tall, exceedingly well built, hair black as pitch. Dear, concentrate. <laughs> there is not a peasant that is not well built. They work in the fields all day. He means scars, birthmarks, that sort of thing. Hey, he's learning! Mm, then none, I suppose. But he did wear a pendant around his neck. A silver one. Silver jewelry on a farmhand? It was a gift, I believe. Or that is what he claimed. Mm, should be enough to go on. Then what are you fritting round here for? Get to work! Are we gonna uncover some kind of weird affair between the wife and the farmhand? Mm -hmm. Perhaps I can turn these tunnels into an extended cellar. Silver. Please, find Jean-Luc. Yeah, she's kind of worried about him personally, it seems. And plus, the jewelry could be from the wife. Already, Roach? Patrolling on an empty stomach. We got our task cut off for us. We gotta figure out the truth. This contract, it's more interesting than the average one. Dang, it's dark. We read a letter about Jean-Luc too. Something about the workmen. What did I actually say about it? Is it worth it for me to um, actually go back and confirm? We picked up a note, so the note would be filed under... Maybe here? Well, it's one of them. It said something about Jean-Luc not showing up to work. Oh, that's the problem, because he went missing. Bread's really stale. Been here a while. Are those two cups next to the bucket? Blanket was laid out here. Sounds like a rendezvous. 
footprints, two sets. Blanket was laid out oh. here. No, I see the little wine bottle. I thought it had its own little thing. Faster. Can I use my torch while I'm on Roach? Nope. I don't think we should be doing monster hunting at night. Oh, they split off. Guess I'll follow this one. We shouldn't be doing monster hunting at night. But I'm too committed to this whole no meditating thing now. <laughs> uh, Come on now. what? Faster. Did it hey go there. a different way? Is this the starting point? Trail ends here. Looks like she went back to the manor. She? It's the wife, isn't it? Yeah, okay. But Jean Luc didn't. Man's footprints lead here. Oh, maybe she was wearing boots or something, so you could tell it was female. Blood, human. Ooh, this is getting spookier by the minute. Blood, human. A foot. Been not on. Not good. Oh no. Wait. These are gigantic footprints. Something walked through here. Big bastard with a heavy tail. Heavy tail? I feel like we've seen that kind of footprint before. Large, deep tracks. Like a fork tail? The last time we saw it, it was a lesion, or the, um, the other version of a lesion. Piece of carapace, horned gray shell. Volusians don't have tails, right? Or carapaces. Claw marks. Straight, dull, perfect for digging. Hmm. Oh dear. Felled trees, as if something rolled over them. So is Shalemar. Only they dig tunnels and move like that. Oh, they're annoying. Is there a possibility that Jean-Luc is still alive? Lo? Lo? Have we ever found anybody who's been alive? Of all the contracts we've done, if we did a tally of all the results, probably it would be like 90% of the people are dead. Because if they weren't dead, why didn't they go back to their villages or whatever? Oh, wow. As fate would have it, this leads us directly back to the entrance we found earlier. Back in the filament stream. The exact same cave? Trail leads to that cave. Oh, wow. This is the Witcher's Cave. Claw marks. Straight. Dull. Perfect for digging. Hmm. Gosh dang it. Could have gone here and got two birds with one stone. Oh well, that's fine. Why didn't we see the Shalmar when we were here before? Is that a rock? Shalmar droppings. Oh. Grubs that feed on them are a delicacy to giant centipedes. Oh, this goes to the giant clearing, probably. Because earlier, the Witcher one didn't use the giant clearing. Hold on, hold on! A Shalmar is what? Shalmar is a... I don't know, why don't I remember this? Ogroid? No. Shalmar is a relic. Relic oil. Tony Owl? Cat? We might be okay without cat. J 
you like to come out? Shalmar's lair. Gotta be. Drags its victims here. Pretty fresh, some of them. Gonna have to brew some bait. Need the blood of a recent victim and some of the mushrooms that grow here. There is the blood. Highly decayed. Partly eaten. Been lying here a while. Fresh corpse. Must be Jean-Luc. Crushed ribs. Cracked skull. Shalmar did this. No two ways about it. It's marked as a swallow potion. <laughs> Magic mirror shard. So you want me to brew the bait now? Here, right? Quest? Gotta spill it within the lair. Somewhere near an air current, so the scent spreads throughout the cave. You got it. Oh, we couldn't loot any of this earlier. Hmm. Here? Okay. You want me to do this. Ugh, that stench. Hmm, it's probably best for us to use a cat potion here. Let's not cheap out on it. We are doing some extensive fighting after all. Plus, I gotta spread this bait out. Oh, no wonder this cave was made so weirdly with all the dead ends here. Scent won't spread from here. Need to spill the bait nearer the tunnel entrance. Here. No? There. And then here? A few more spots. Oh, why don't you pour the bait right on the dead people while you're at it? Oh, Lord. Come on, show me your claws. Monster of Tufo. Okay, if we can mislead it into crashing on the pillars, I think that's probably what we want. Oh, gosh. Okay, it didn't crash into the pillar at all because it just straight up. Oh, now's our chance. It just straight up destroyed it. Okay, now it won't do the thing. How about you come over here? Hang in there, don't move around too much. Oh, I kinda got stuck there! Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, we're both in here! Don't do that! It's not actually hurting me, though. Oh! It didn't hit the thing. Come on. Maybe we can get it without? Hit the wall. That's not hitting the wall. That's not hitting the wall. Here we go. Once we know the method, much easier. Now just gotta chop off its head and go get my reward. Poor thing. Ami.
And that is a job well done. Amy. Dang, this sword is way better than what I have right now, but it's also level 48, so we can't use it. It even has three slots. Hey, we never came across that silver pendant thing the wife mentioned. Did I just miss it somewhere, or...? Oh. Here we go. Silver pendant. A lock of hair inside. Same color as Madame de Bourbeau's. Oh, well, that's basically confirming what we were suspecting already. And now that we have this information, we gotta do something about it, don't we? Mm, even if I don't... Okay, well, my default reaction is that I don't really want to care about it because I was hired on to kill the Tufo monster. I did it. I'm gonna go get my money. But now we have this silver pendant here. Well, we'll see what people have to say about it first. Although, at this point, because we have this knowledge, even if we stay quiet, that's not really being truly neutral, is it? Because we have this information now, it's not really possible for us to be neutral anymore. Well, maybe I took that away a little bit too early. Roach, come on, let's go. Go, go. Well, we'll see what he has to say. The owner of the vineyard. Maybe we can talk to the wife separately about this. 1 a.m. After all of the traveling that we did today, we're finally done the contract at a sweet 1 a.m. at midnight. Are you still within the place here? The wine cellar? Be gone from my sight. The wall. Fix it by the end of the day. Oh, they're still trying to fix it here. What's new, handsome knight? <laughs> you. Can we talk? You'd best be bearing good news. Get on with it. Oh. Mm, well, let's talk about the main thing first. But if we talk about that, does it mean that we can't say anything about the farmhand anymore? Got rid of the beast that was giving you trouble. It was a Shelmar. Sh Shelmar? Whatever could that be? Mm, kind of like a cross between a mole and a caterpillar. Just big as a barn. Oh. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, Master Witcher, you make a poor first impression, but ultimately proved your worth. There. Your reward. As for Jean-Luc, afraid he's dead. Sorry. Who? Oh, him. Trivial as losses go. Hmm. I shall soon find another to take his place. Right. After all, he is just a peasant. Not a monsieur de blah blue blah. So long. Well, it seems like... Is it possible for me to still tell him about it? No tunnels beneath the foundations. Its why things are toppling. A blind giant, this damned beast. Meandered all about. Quite a bit of stone and brickwork awaits. That it does. Our business. At you, sir. Hmm. I guess I was that. So I was thinking about this a little bit differently here. Because right now, we have a silver pendant, right? But we also have the knowledge about the affair. I thought these were two separate things, and I wasn't sure if I was gonna give the silver pendant to him or not. Because if we're gonna give it to anybody, I feel like we should give it to the wife. And I actually wonder if that is possible. Which should be around the main estate here. No, that's either not a door or just completely locked. Okay, well maybe she's in the garden. I think she would want to know, right? Although this one is a bit of a tricky one because... Being cheated on is a very, very horrible thing. Very horrible. That guy was kind of a jerk, but if we don't tell him about it... A tip of like, mm, I kind of don't feel too right about that either. Oh, there she is. 
So, have you... have you found him? Found this. Jean-Luc? Sorry. Really, I am. Lock of hair inside. It's yours, isn't it? Yes. Jean-Luc and I... Well, I'm certain you've pieced it together already. I thank you for your discretion. For avenging him. Please, it's terribly modest, I know, but... You must take this reward. My husband is certain to be miserly with his gold. Now, if I may, I'd like to be alone. Well, I got a little bit of a extra gold reward here. Bit of an unseeming quest at first. It seems like, hey, it's just a random monster contract. Oh, we got a new song here. <laughs> but um, in the end, we got custom caves and chasing the monster from one location to the other. And ending it all off. I feel like this is kind of interesting because... The wife is much more agreeable as a person, but she's doing something that's objectively... Ethically not right. Whereas, the husband actually didn't do anything wrong. He even paid me extra for getting rid of the Kikimore eggs. But he's been very abrasive the whole time. Unnecessarily so. But, he didn't do anything wrong. And I kind of have to be the one to decide here. Do I tell him about this affair that's been going on or not? Or does it even matter anymore now that Jean-Luc is dead? Hmm... Well, I kind of did it based off gut reaction here, but I wonder if that may be a bit... I don't know. I think it might be an interesting topic here, thinking about the psychology behind why people make the choice they make in this quest. Do what they summoned you to oh. do, then pack up and go back. Oh, I think we might have gotten the bestiary entry for the monster of Tufo earlier, but I forgot to look at it. Hold on. No, not that one. We're still not getting that one. The Monster of Tufo. So this one compared to a normal Shalmar. It's red streaked, which means it's more powerful and cool looking. A knight errand might manage to kill a ghoul, and a peasant with a pack of dogs can at times take down a bear. Yet let us make one thing clear. Not even the finest steel armor ever forged or the collarbone of Saint Plagman himself will give a mortal man any chance of surviving a fight against the creatures that dwell deep within the earth. Briefing new recruits? That's very reassuring. <laughs> Imagine a creature that kills men, feeds on Kikimore eggs, and digs underground tunnels so wide they fit the Emperor of Nilfgaard's coronation carriage along with a team of six horses. And now imagine this creature digs with such force, the earth quakes, and the houses up above tremble and collapse. Noting these symptoms, Geralt was at first unsure what sort of a beast he could be dealing with, knowing only that he needed to be very, very careful. Only after he carefully examined the monster's tracks did he realize it had to have been an aged female Shalmar. Oh, so maybe the markings are from age. The monster destroying Tufo turned out to be an old Shalmar matriarch, Geralt hunted it down and fought it deep under the ground. Though blind like all members of its species, this creature could easily maneuver by sensing vibrations and noises. As long as Geralt stood quiet and motionless, he was safe. Yet if he took one step or breathed a bit too loud, the matriarch would start moving in his direction with great speed. I never really took advantage of this fact all too well, because I guess trying to make it ram into a wall has already been a sufficient strategy. Geralt had a very difficult time taking out this monster, whose armor could not be pierced by any of his weapons. In the end, however, he succeeded, and the monster of Tufo was no more. If Anna Henrietta finds out about this, she's gonna be like, Oh my god. I tell you to kill the Beast of Beauclair, that's why I hired you to come here, but you go and kill some other random monster that's not the Beast of Beauclair? Goodness.